you got married uh, in 98 and you had Daisy. You all moved over to Dubai and kind of set up life there and things were okay. He started working a bit more and the relationship became strained and you moved back to the UK for a bit. Um, and you separated for, yes. for a period of time. Mm -hmm. um, 2015, you decided to make another go of it yeah. and you were all going to move back to Dubai. So at that time then, I guess, when you were watching this film, what sort of state was your relationship in? How, how were things going? Um, things were great. We had plans. Um, Daisy was enrolled in college out there. We had an apartment out there. Yeah. Or so I thought. Um, we were just waiting for Daisy to finish her GCSEs and as soon as that was over, we were planning to move out there. Yeah. So, yeah. And what sort of relationship did you have uh, within Daisy? At the time, it was a bit on and off, really, but when we were supposed to be moving out there, it was... I'd trying to, like, rekindle the relationship a bit. Mm. Yeah, I bet you were looking forward to that yeah. as well. So, it's extraordinary, then, that in March 2016, you're watching Saturday Night Takeaway. There's you and your younger son as well. Um, where did you think Daniel was at this point? Um, we knew he was in Dubai. Yeah. Or rather, we thought he was in Dubai, just working and, and passing the time until we could get out there. And the, the, the woman that he was pictured with, uh, Susan, yeah. um, th they had been together yeah. at the time. So what, what, what was their relationship? How long had they been together? They'd been together, not? well, I'm not too sure exactly, probably about four or five years. I knew that they were living together um, and I, I knew that sort of they'd set up home together. Um, but he told me that because he wanted us all to be a family again, that he had separated from Sue, mm. um, and they'd gone their separate ways. So what did you think when you saw them together? I didn't know what to think. Yeah. It was just a shock. Um, Daisy collapsed. Um, as things sort of... Uh, we realised what was going on, and it was just total shock. It I really bet. was. Well, you, um, you wrote on the, on the show's Facebook uh, page, I love the wedding and the surprise guests. I didn't love the sight of my husband, who's supposed to be working in Dubai, arriving on the arm of another woman, a woman he's supposed to have split from last year. We have a 15-year-old daughter who is in absolute bits. And, of course, the show couldn't possibly know any of that background. Of course not. No, it was, it was a knee-jerk reaction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah. very, very understandable. Yeah. So, um, and so what was your next step, then? What did you do? I tried messaging him. Um, we used to talk on WhatsApp every day. I could see that he'd read my messages, but wasn't replying. Um, he did finally phone me the day after, but it had all gone viral in the meantime. Mm. So. And so, how, when did you find out the extent of what he'd done? Because at this point, you're thinking, well, at worst, he's still having an affair with this lady. Mm. But then to go on and find out that he had married her at the same time as you, and she, she also wasn't aware of any of this? Absolutely not, no. No. Um, at first, he was insistent that it was just a blessing um, right. in the Seychelles, that they had to go through for appearances' sake in Dubai so they could live together. Um, he, he didn't even tell the police that there was a proper marriage afterwards. Um, so, yeah, it was all a big shock when, when it came out that he, there was a marriage after all. And yeah. so, at, at what point did, did you manage to have contact with him and what did he say? Um, it was a couple of days after, after that. I spoke to him on the phone and he was still insisting there was nothing going on. He was still insisting it because he was the best man, he was best friends with Sue's sister, um, that even though we'd been holding hands with Sue, it was just to stop her from falling over when we are getting off the coach. Oh, he had an excuse for everything, he yeah. really did. And you decided to go to the police? Yes. And why, why did you decide to do that? For my own peace of mind and Daisy's peace of mind, everybody was telling us they were married, um, everybody was telling me that I was a jealous, bitter ex-wife, that we weren't married, so I, I had to prove it, so I went to the police. You weren't expecting, as we said, that he, uh, he has gone to prison for, for six months, mm. and you, you weren't expecting it to be so severe? No, we were expecting a suspended sentence, yeah. weren't we? And maybe community service. We weren't expecting him to go to prison at all. How did you feel, Daisy, when, when you heard the length of the sentence? Obviously, I went to the court hearing because I wanted to hear what he'd get. And when I heard that he got six months, I just I collapsed there yeah. and then. Yeah. Bit of a shock for, for everybody. Um, and have you spoken to him since he's been in prison? How... Uh, not yet, no. No. OK. And what, um, once, it, once he served that six months, um, would you, would you, I mean, Dad, so, I mean, would you want to, want to speak to him again? I probably would, yeah, but he's given me a lot of issues in my own life that I need to focus on 
getting over as well. Mm. So yeah, I'm sure. And what, and what about what about you, um, Helen? Because uh, I I suppose that really has got to dent your trust in people. Quite Absolutely, a lot. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I am in a relationship. I have been for a little while, but um, the trust. The, you're questioning yourself all the time mm -hmm. when he, you know, when when he tells you something like where he is and that, and you you're questioning yourself. You're in two minds whether to believe him or not, and it, it does it does affect you. It really does, yeah. And of course, there is the 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 lies to Susan as yes. well. Um, we, she, we contacted her, mm -hmm. um, and um, and we invited her to, to come mm. on today, but she very politely de declined. She said, it's over for me now, I've nothing else to say. I went to the press last year because I felt I had to clear my name because it seemed that people were actually thinking I wasn't married to him and had just thrown on a wedding dress for a Facebook photo opportunity, or worse still, they thought that I was in on all his lies. But justice has been served now, and this book is firmly closed for me. Um, another damaged person mm. left in, in his way. Absolutely, yeah. Um, well, I hope you can both, you know, move on from this in some way. And uh, thank you very much for, no, for coming in and, and talking you. to us today. Thank you. All right.